Hi everyone, welcome to Diamond Dog Training. I'm Joyce and today we're going to review the Rover Pet Puppy Play Pet. And please remember if you haven't subscribed, push that little button right there in the corner, that red button, and you will receive every one of my videos as an email. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about my favorite puppy X Pen. This is by Rover Pet. It is a PVC pipe, heavy plastic that is easy to assemble, very easy to take apart. It can be used as a gate. It can be used as a pen for your puppy. It can be used as a barrier in so many different ways. So I'm gonna show you how to put it together. My pen, which is sitting here, I've had for 20 years. The reason I purchased this pen was because I wanted something safe. As many of you know, I have Italian greyhounds with very small feet. And I wanted something that they couldn't put their feet through the wire, that they couldn't crawl up the lattice work, that was safe. And so I researched many years ago and I came up with roverpet.com. And I will put the link to it below so that you can check it out. So this is a section of the puppy pen. Heavy duty PVC pipe. Nice part about it is this comes apart. Doesn't have to be this way. I don't want these two sections together. They just unclip. And if you keep unclipping them, you'll end up with one piece, one single piece, okay? The pen I purchased was 30 inches high. And I liked it because there was no way that my dogs could get over it. Now, they also have them at 48 inches, 24 inches, so many different heights. For my dogs, my puppy, when I had it, an Italian Greyhound puppy, could put their feet here, possibly, some of them couldn't, but there was no way of crawling up the fence. So that's why even the adults can put their feet here. Now, if I had a dog that really jumped, I would have gotten a higher one, 48, 55, whatever distance. So, and now what do you do with it? Well, you can do so many things with it, and they give you so many of these little clips, okay? I have a puppy, the first thing I do is I choose a part of my house. I'm out here because it's such a lovely day, it's easy to put things together out here. Um, but I choose a section of my home where there's a lot of traffic, a lot of people, and the puppy will get a lot of socialization. And then I can put my puppy pen together with these little plastic things. Just a matter of clipping them, and you can put quite a few down. So, and you take two more pieces. Now, if you want to make it very tiny for some reason, one, two, three, four, then you could just put it this way and clip these two together. You have a tiny, tiny little pen. Okay. If you want to make it larger, then what we're going to do is and take it apart and we're going to come over here we're going to make this side okay and this side hook together okay and we're going to open it up that way and we're going to so then i need a front and when I do, you'll see that the only thing missing is a door. I have my door, my door swings open. So now my door is missing some pieces. The poles on my door over the years have gotten lost. So as I said, if I had a puppy, First thing I would do is ask Rover Pet to send me a new door. You can see that there should be poles all the way down on this door. 
And then we finally hook this one together and we have a puppy pen. Now, I like this pen because it has a door and I can close the door and latch it and I know my puppy will be in it. So what I did was I then took a crate, took the top off of it, put a nice little blanket in it. Why did I take the top off of it? Because I don't want my puppy getting up on the top of the crate and getting over. So now I have my puppy in a nice little crate, nice little bed with uh, a blanket. And then if I'm going to be gone for a little while and I had a puppy, what I would do is I'd put down pee pads. And so the pee pads my puppy would use when I am not at home. And then of course, as soon as I got home, if the pee pads were dry, wonderful, I would whisk my puppy outside to go to the bathroom. In the beginning, when I first put a puppy in the puppy pen, what I do is I cover every spot of the floor except where the crate is. And this helps with the house training because what happens is the puppy learns that when they're in the puppy pen, they do not go to the bathroom. Of course, on their blanket, they come out and pee on the pee pads. And then it's just a matter of making it homey and putting in one of my favorite toys, which is the Kong and a hoof. And of course, if I'm gonna be gone for a little while, uh, water and a bowl and a soft little toy. So Nikki's in there in the pen. Now, if I wanted her to stay in there, all I would do is close the door, latch it, and she would be in there. So this, this is my favorite puppy pen. Easy to clean. All I did uh, do is wipe it off, uh, hose it off with a little bit of uh, dish liquid and water, disinfect it with, I like the all natural, so I use an all natural disinfectant. And if the puppy pees in it, of course, nature's miracle. So I have my puppy set up in my puppy pen. So this is just one use for this pen. What this pen has been doing for a while was just simply being gates. So here my pen is just across the entrance to the deck. So we can be used like this. So I really like this pen is the security that it can't come apart. You know, this way a dog could move it, they could push it, but these make it even more secure. So what they are is, they are, again, PVC pipe. These are a little more difficult to get on. And what you do is you clamp those on so that this part stays secure, so it doesn't move. You put it on at all the other sides and you have a pen that can't move. Then the last thing you do is you do the, the corner pieces. Okay. And what you do here is you put it on, you clamp it on here, and then you clamp on the other side. And what happens is now your corners are secure. It doesn't move anywhere. They, I also have downstairs a um, floor. Came with two pieces, fit right in. So if you had any concern about your hardwood floor or anything, um, you put the pieces in for the floor, which is also PVC pipe, hard plastic, they clip in and boy, then you have it absolutely secure. Now, um, and then you put your pee pad and everything down on top of your plastic, um, plastic pan. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't, it would really, really help me so much if you just press that little red button that says subscribe and then 
you will be subscribed to the channel and receive all the emails. That would really help me an awful lot. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'll leave you with a question. What is your favorite type of puppy play pen? Thank you and have a great day from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.